Hey guys, this is Tech Extreme, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Chrome OS onto your USB flash drive and then use it on your laptop or PC or um, mini PC. Whatever you use, I'm going to show you how to put it onto a um, flash drive to use on your computer. So, basically, first things first is to go to this website. I'll leave it in the description below and click scroll down basically and get to download USB maker if you're using Windows but if you're using Mac you can select from these or if you're using Chromebook you can select from one of these as like also so um, basically I'm just gonna click because I'm on Windows download USB maker and while that's downloading what I'm gonna do is I'm going to plug in my USB flash drive and I am going to open up the run command by pressing Windows and R and type in disk part. Click on yes. So basically once you're at disk part you're going to want to type in this disk. And select your disk which will most likely be the one that's smaller. So mine is 16 gigs or 14 gigs as it says here so I'm going to type cell disk. One. Now type in clean. Now type C R P A R T P R I M. Sorry, C R E P A R T P R I M. Now type format. FS is equal to NTFS quick. Type in assign and then exit. So by about this time once you've done this, this will pop up here. Just click on it. It'll finish downloading so you can open it up. Okay, so it'll ask you if you have a 16 gig or 8 gig <coughs> USB stick in 20 minutes. So I have that amount of time, so I'm just going to click on next. Click on either if your computer is 32 bit it's more than 10 years old but if it's 64 bit it's less than 10 years old so click on the 64 bit option for most people um basically it's going to give you a warning sandisk devices are not recommended usb devices with more than 16 gigs of space are not recommended just click next um, and select your USB flash drive. Click on next. And I'll be back once it's finished doing it. Once it's finished making the USB stick. Okay, so it's um, just finished downloading. So now it's going to put the image onto the USB and I'll be back once it has done that. Okay, so um, now that the USB is finished installing, what you're going to want to do is click on finish, turn off your computer, and boot onto the USB. So this is how the actual boot screen looks like for um, the Chrome OS. Um, it'll just boot into it now in a few seconds, so I'm going to keep the camera rolling. As you can see that was like really fast that's why chrome os is kind of a good os for lightweight computers so um i did boot into it before i don't know if my internet works or not because last time when i tried to sign in it didn't but i'll give it a go again and i'll see what happens so i'll be back once i sign in so basically at this point you have to sign in so 
You can either like leave it and click on browse as guest or you can sign in once you've connected to the Wi-Fi. Um, so I'm just going to sign in and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm actually signed in now, so you'll get this saying, thanks for using Cloud Ready Home Edition, um, using Cloud Ready Home at School or Business or Education and blah blah blah. Just um, X out of it. It'll ask, it will ask you if you want to take a tour, if you want to you can, but for me I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna close out of that as well. So as you can see, it's just a fairly basic version of Chrome OS, nothing too much. You have everything here that you'd want. Just fairly basic stuff. You can go to the web store, go into your files, Google Slides, all of that stuff. You see this stuff is kind of blank, so it just kind of animates like that, which I think is kind of nice. Um, so let's check out the web store. Okay, so just open up a grammar or anything, that's just for me, but you, you'll actually be taken to this spot here. We can download all your apps and everything, so let's just say for example we wanted Spotify. Don't know if they have it as an extension on Chrome. They don't, but... Um, we'll try something else. Let's say you wanted, I don't know, like Google Translate. Let's see, do they have that? Yeah, they have Google Translate, so just click on Add to Chrome, Add Extension. There you go, and it should also pop up down here, if we click over here, hmm. it's probably just an extension, but like, it is a really fast operating system, like I can close out of it, click on this and it just pops up instantly, then let's just go on to YouTube. So yeah, it just does it, like, that's the only way I can kind of explain it, just goes into it, like, not much of a delay unless you have bad internet, which I kind of do, so that's why there's a delay, but if you have normal internet, there shouldn't be a delay. Um, so this is how it looks if you're just doing a portable setup, but you can actually install it onto your computer. If you click down here, this menu will pop up, and you can click on install cloud ready if you want to. If you like did want to um, sign in, you can uh, like install it and stuff. But for me, I'm not gonna because I want to just use this as a portable setup. So if I'm on someone's computer, and they don't want me going at their stuff. I can just boot up into this, and it'll be fine. So that's how you install Chrome OS onto USB and use it portably or just install onto your own computer yourself so if you guys enjoyed the video please do give it a like if you didn't give it a dislike comment down below what you thought and i hope to see you in the next video and i know it's been like a, like since 2017 since i've actually done a youtube video and i'm sorry about that and we have reached 1000 subscribers which i'm really happy about i can't believe it and i'm going to be making a video on that just for the 1000 subscribers um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, this is Tech Extreme signing out.